Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Just Get Hired podcast. What if I told you that the difference between struggling and thriving in your career could come down to one key relationship? It's having the right mentor. Well, I'm Jessica Fiesta George, your host, and today I'm thrilled to welcome back a familiar face. Meet Chris Wilson. Chris has literally soared to new heights both in the sky and in the business world. He's had a great career as a commercial helicopter pilot, maintenance engineer, and he also transitioned into entrepreneurship. He's also a two-time book author, the founder of a community called Mentee, which we're going to talk about today. And he recently just added TEDx speaker to his resume. Did I miss anything, Chris? I feel like there's a lot of things like once you go down in your career, like the next thing, the next thing. But I want to <laughs> mention too, before we even get started, like the only reason why I could do any of that is because I've failed time and time and time again. So while it sounds good, like up front on a podcast or whatever, you know, we're doing a lot of, you know, challenges and setbacks were kind of faced leading to all those things. But I think you, you pretty much got everything. Well, last time we saw you, I think it was around this time last year, we were talking about your job doesn't suck. It's your attitude. Yeah. But I think <laughs> a lot of it comes down to also, you know, maybe you just don't have the right mentor. So I thought maybe having you on again to talk about mentee, your new community and why mentorship is um, really important, especially as you grow your career or your business. So I want to get kind of down to it. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. As far as the community mentee, that's for early stage entrepreneurs and, and we support them as mentors, as mentees ourselves. And I think that's because you're just, you're always learning. You're always learning about the next thing. Doesn't matter how many days, weeks, months, or even decades you have in your career, in your experience, whether that's business or not, is like, you're always trying to figure out the next thing and just like refining what you're doing. And I think that's really key to finding a mentor is it's all about trial and error. And it's all about like continuing to iterate and change as you go, as you learn more. Well, when I think of some of the most successful people in the world, um, like from CEOs to athletes, they attribute a significant part of their success to mentorship. When they get on stage and they're accepting the award, they're always thanking certain people. And a lot of that has to do with mentorship. Do you think that's the code to unlocking success? Yeah, I mean, I think that's definitely part of the code. It's it's funny, like when I was younger, it's I used to think like, I can do everything myself and I have this and I don't need anyone. And boy, was I wrong about that whole situation. So I have a previous background in, in fitness and, and training and competing there. And when I think back to those times, it's like, I had probably like 10 people on my team. And those were, whether they're trainers or coaches or nutritionists or posing people and like, all of these people that helped me and same thing when i when i gave my tedx last year and it, it was just like a whole team of support a team of people helping you right helping you figure out kind of what things to do what things not to do and i think learning from those people unlocks that level that like you can't reach on your own and mm -hmm. at, a, at a faster rate too i think that's kind of the key thing to take away is can you do it on your own perhaps but definitely not as fast and probably not to the same level or get to the same level as, as you could on your own. So let's kind of understand the role of a mentor for people who might not be familiar. Can you maybe define in your words what mentorship is and how it might be different from coaching or consulting and advising? Yeah. So a mentor is like, it would be similar to the realm of consulting and advising because you're helping guide. I think mm -hmm. that's really the key where coaching is more on the side of you're asking powerful questions to help them come up with the answers or help them come up with the ways that they actually want to solve that. So right. I'd say it's almost like a hybrid of, you know, like coaching and consulting where you're guiding them toward that thing. So from your previous experience, from your experiences, your failures, your triumphs, you're helping someone else to do something in a similar field that you've either done it or you have experience in that field doing it something similar to that. Okay. So what about like the positives and negatives of mentorship? Are there, what are the benefits of having a mentor? What kind of insights and um, guidance can you receive? Yeah. So we'll start with the, uh, I think the positives. So the positives, I mean, you're going to reach where you want to go faster. That's, you know, something I mentioned, um, you're going to have knowledge that you might not have from someone that's already done it. That's someone that's already been there. So that's really key. As far as downfalls, like I'm not sure if there's too many downfalls. Now, just thinking about it right now, like 
maybe if you have the wrong mentor, that could be a downfall of like, well, you just wasted a bunch of time, which you can never right. get back. You might have wasted a bunch of money, whether that's like a training, a service or something like that where you lost money. But all in all, if you have the right person as a mentor or the right team behind you or with you, I think, you know, there's not really many downfalls or, or, or negatives that I could like associate with. So let's talk about that. If you find a wrong mentor or it's a mismatch between whoever you thought could be a good person to guide you through something, how do you get out of it? Like, or how do you identify when it isn't going right? And then what steps should you take if they're not the right person for you? Yeah, I think identifying it for sure would be like the first thing. And that really, you know, I was always trying to figure out when I was younger too, like, you know, how do I find the right mentor? How do I find that person? And it's, it's kind of a tricky situation because for me, it just happened out of like putting myself out there, constantly being in positions where like I wanted to grow, I wanted to learn. And that kind of existed like out of my comfort zone, kind of in the discomfort world. And so I think if you're putting yourself out there, you're bound to find people, you know, people mm -hmm. like-minded people that are like that, that are like where you want to go. So finding them like a, a few steps ahead of you, I would say is like kind of key in that career, in that business, in that kind of whatever. As far as identifying like if they're the person or not the person, I think that comes down to more like, how do you feel when you're with them? Because there's almost like a gut check or something that like, right. you kind of know, like, all right, this person's like, you know, in, in the right group, or you, you have the right kind of feeling like when you're with them. And are you learning something? Are you moving forward? Like, there's some key indicators there that like, maybe you could do it as a measurable thing, like measuring your success, you know, wh mm -hmm. whatever that means to you. But also there's like a big gut check there is like, how does it make you feel when you're with them? Do you feel kind of like uncomfortable or is something like not going the way you want it to? Because you'll, you'll definitely know that when it's happening. I th think there's not a one size fits all mentor bucket, right? So for different things that you're experiencing within your career, or if you're starting a business or whatever, you know, that fill in the blank is, you have to have a different mentor for each thing that you're going through. So how would you find a mentor? Like, do you just hop on LinkedIn or do you join a community? How do you even find communities like the one you have? Because in the States we have, you know, there's, I'm sure something similar to what you have in Canada, but you know, what are some best tips for people on how they can find a mentor? Yeah. So tips to find a mentor. I mean, I guess there's, there's two streams we can go into and that's what you mentioned. The first stream would be in person. So that would be, you know, I want to get more fit at the gym. So I go to the gym, I go consistently, I show up day out, day in and day out, and you will find like-minded people there. And it might not happen right away, but right. from years and years of going to the gym, it will happen. You'll make friends, you'll grow that hub, you'll grow that network. So that's like the in-person thing. And that can be applied to business as well as going to networking events or going to coffee meetups. Like we, we host a bunch of coffee meetups and events here in Vancouver. And then the other side of it would be like the virtual thing. Mm -hmm. And the virtual thing is like social media, that's LinkedIn, that's Instagram, that's YouTube. That's like kind of anything online where you can connect with people online. I mean, that's how our relationship started a couple of years ago, I think now was yep. a virtual connection. Mm -hmm. And that was through through LinkedIn and, and through searching. That's the other side of it where like you can just go on Google. You can go like L LinkedIn is definitely, I would say, up there in terms yeah. of like good relationships, meeting good people, especially like career entrepreneurship business. That would be the place to go. It's going to take time. It's going to take some research of finding maybe groups, finding people on there. And you'll be able to tell by what they're posting, who they're connected with, like if there's someone you want to follow and engage with. And from there, mm -hmm. I guess the next step, you know, before I get like too far into it would be like, just <laughs> reach out, like just, just honestly send them a DM. Cause like, you'd be surprised how many like people's like DMS I've slipped into and not in a weird <laughs> way, but like in a, in a good way for like career positivity and change and, and momentum of just sending a DM and, and just getting to know that person. But yeah, I, I, I'm going to leave it at that, but that's, that's the first step. Okay. Do you have any examples of people within your community that um, have really benefited from being a part of the mentee community and like, what are they learning from each other? Any success stories you'd like to share? 
Yeah, as far as like what they're learning from each other, I mean, it's really important like in whatever you do to have like that ecosystem around you. And that's like the environment mm -hmm. of people you're surrounding yourself with that all have like a similar goal. So for us, it's really about solo founders or solopreneurs. So those building businesses. So that's like from the idea phase into mm -hmm. like discovery and actually like launching. And so as far as like a success story, I mean, we have, we have a ton of members in there right now, but Ryan, for example, he's starting a YouTube channel and a YouTube uh, educational channel on think ed. So think education and that helps teachers actually in the first five years of their career in their industry to kind of understand some hacks, so to speak, or some tips, so to speak, in their career. And so he's actually left from being a teacher full-time, a high school teacher at a private school, and now he's building that. And the reason he's building that is because he's part of our community, because he's able to bounce ideas and get feedback off building a website, off landing pages, off kind of understanding business administration and how to put together a business and to launch that. And so we've mm -hmm. really been able to support him in kind of taking those next steps to do that. So that's just like one, one small example I can think of right now. I love everything you guys are doing. I follow the journeys on um, Instagram and online. So we'll drop links later, of course, so people can also find that. But what would you say? I know you, te you are a career coach as well. Um, you know, career coaching and mentorship, if you're fine, if you find the right career coach, they can also become a mentor. Um, but why is it important too for career success? I think as far as like, you know, finding a mentor in career success, I mean, that's, that definitely goes hand in hand, whether you're building a business or whether you want to gain more experience in your career. So I think that kind of goes down to like constantly learning, constantly iterating. So I would say like my best thing and kind of that topic would be to invest in yourself. And that is a key like, that, you know, I've been able to do fortunately um, over the last two decades and that's paid like huge dividends and, and return on investment for me. And that could be investments through courses, that could be investments through training, that could be investments through mentorship. So I think all of those things like add to leveling up your career, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And that would be um, through gaining more experience, gaining more training. And typically what that looks like is if you do that long enough over time, that means more money for you. That means more negotiating power. That means kind of you can like leverage yourself as an asset to a company because you just mm -hmm. have more to offer and you can solve more problems. Well, Chris, where can people find more about Mentee? Tell us just a little bit more about like what's involved. How can people join? Um, is there an application process? All of the fun stuff. Yeah, as far as Menti, it is an application process. So we like pride ourselves on vetting highly um, entrepreneurial people that are positive, that are uplifting, that are supportive. So you do have to apply to get in. Um, you can find us at mentycommunity.com and that's our landing page. You can learn about what we're doing if there is space available. And as far as on Instagram, it would be menti.community. And if you want to just go to my website and follow me or, or learn more about what I'm doing also outside of Menti, you can go to chrismwilson.com. Perfect. Well, we'll put all of those links in the show notes. Any last minute tips that you want to share? Last minute tips for mentorship. I would say be hungry and know that this is a marathon. It's not about figuring this out and seven days or on next Monday or the start of next month. It's really about just being consistent, showing up day after day, month after month, and eventually these things will unfold. So I think don't rush it. That's, that's my last piece of advice. Don't rush it and uh, be consistent and show up and, and things will work out in your favor. Okay. So be a pace car, not a race car is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I like it. Let's go with that metaphor to finish off. <laughs> All right. So one takeaway I think I got also from this episode is that mentorship can be a game changer in your career, your life, and in business. So whether you're starting out or you're taking that next big leap, finding the right person who can mentor you can help you through any challenges, seizing opportunities, and just reaching new heights. Well, I appreciate you coming back and always a 
open invitation for you. So come back anytime because I enjoy just seeing your face. It's been a while, even though I see you on uh, social media, <laughs> it's great for you to be here and share all of your inspiring stories. And I'm so excited to see what's going to happen next. Any new books, TEDx talks or anything else we should be on the lookout for? Nothing, nothing new on the, on the lookout right now, just uh, building, scaling and, and just being consistent, kind of like I said. So that's that's the key. And yeah, thanks. Thanks so much for having me. Happy to be back and I'll be back for sure. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget, subscribe, share it with someone who might benefit from it. Leave a review. Follow me and Chris on LinkedIn, Instagram. I'm also now on TikTok. Be careful, but let's get, keep this conversation going. And as always, you can find more resources and episodes on my website, justgethired.com. So thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, keep striving for success and surround yourself with the people who can help you get you there. 